So the other day, Steve Jobs wrote a letter and posted it on the Apple.com webpage explaining why he didn't want Flash on the iPad or iPhone devices. So he was saying that HTML5 is really the only way to experience the web. So what I wanted to do is take my iPad and I wanted to showcase some of the really cool HTML5 websites that are out there and kind of show you the cool web experience that you can get on the iPad just using HTML5. Here I am at canvasdemos.com and it's a collection of HTML5 uh, applications and games and various things. So the first thing I want to look at, uh, let's go to this 3D and I'll just click this first one. Pardon the uh, focus, my camera keeps changing. So this takes us to an external web page and while this is loading, yeah again, stupid camera. Anyway, now here we have some pretty cool 3D effects. Uh, as you touch each one it kind of starts the animation. And these are actually pretty cool. I, I like what they've done. It's kind of slow. They're not really that fast. Uh, so it is rendering on the web page without any plug-in, which is nice. But it's really slow. You can start and stop these animations. It's kind of hard to tell which ones are playing. So they've got a number of different objects that are being rendered on the screen, all in HTML5. Trouble is, it's just really, really slow. All right, so now I'm at uh, this game. This is an Etch-a-Sketch game. And with Etch-a-Sketch, it's pretty nifty. Uh, you draw and it, you draw an object and it creates it. Now, here it's pretty small. I can't really zoom in. If I try to zoom in, it won't let me. I'm trying to get some controls. It's really hard to tell what these are. I don't, I'll just click these buttons. I don't know what they do because I can't read them at this size. But this will take me to a level and now the idea is that I can draw, well, I can try to draw. It's kind of just selecting it, it's really not letting me draw, huh? Because usually in the web version, like on my desktop, if I click and drag, then it uh, draws a line or it draws, you can draw a circle and then let go and it would drop it like physics, but I can't even, can't zoom in, I can't really get into this at all. Well, okay. All right, let's try Tetris. Tetris is a pretty cool game. And these graphics, I really like this one. It's got a good graphics. Um, the problem is the controls. It's really hard. You're supposed to click. I can't really zoom in at all. So it's moving along pretty slowly. But basically I can control where the piece goes and rotate it if I touch the object. But, I mean, the graphics look really nice. And again, this is all HTML5. Okay, well, I don't see the other block. The block's not falling. I don't know what's going on. That's kind of annoying. Hello? Hello? And I can't zoom, I can't really change the layout. All right, well, that's that game. Oh, now this game, Chain Reaction, is actually one of the, my favorite HTML5 games. You should play it. The idea is that you start off and you place a dot, and the idea, well, if I can get it, it's not taking my touch points. I can can move around, I can zoom and zoom in and out, but that little circle is supposed to place a ball 
and then it's supposed to interact with the other ones that are floating around. Well, let me try the advanced version and see if that's any better. And I'm touching. It's it's not accepting anything. I can't. It's kind of crazy. I'm trying to play. Man, these HTML5 games aren't really reacting. All right. All right, let's go to a physics example. And here, these are animations that are reacting, you know, dynamically generated. This one's called Space Debris. And it's moving along. Now, it says press and move mouse, but I can't, I'm pressing, but it's not doing anything. I can zoom in. But every time I click, notice how it kind of highlights it. Uh, it's, it's treating it like an image. It's not really treating it. Boy, I zoom out. It doesn't. The animation is kind of slow. But I cannot interact with it. Okay, this other demo. Uh, this one is specifically one called Canvas Demos. It's Burning Words. And what Burning Words does is you can dynamically add text and then it'll add this cool flaming letter effect. So here I am on the page and I'm just going to generate and I don't see the text. Demo it says demo. I don't, I'll hit generate again but I don't see any text. It's, I don't, I'm not really understanding where the text is supposed to show up. Um, hmm. Alrighty then, let's go to a video. This will be good because HTML5 really is replacing Flash video. So let me go to this first one. It's pretty cool. It's got this video destruction. It's supposed to, uh, when you touch the video, it explodes. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, click video to blow it up. Well, I don't see any video here. It's probably, I guess it's loading. There's really no indicator. I don't see any sort of loader. Um, it says that little text at the bottom says if it doesn't load properly, reload the page. So I'm reloading the page. Sorry for the blurriness. And my camera can't focus. But I do not see any video whatsoever. Well, there's your HTML5 experience on the iPad. Um, this is what Steve Jobs wants us to be doing. So really you need to forget working in Flash because obviously Apple's not going to take Flash on the iPad or iPhone. So really this is the experience that uh, we get. Hope you like it. And uh, yeah, let me know if you know of any other cool HTML5 apps that I can try on my iPad.